We are all sons of Shaka and daughters of Sadabatman, nieces of Queen Mojaji and nephews of Van Ribek. Honorable the Block Van Shelting up, please just take your seat for a moment. Honorable Malema, why are you rising? It is an offensive language to say we are all descendants or grandchildren of Jan van Riebeck, a murderer. If, uh, if we are going to acknowledge that we are all products of South Africa's history, then unfortunately that's a fact we have to admit. We are not part of a legacy of Jan van Riebeck. And he cannot consist consistently tell us that we are part of Jan yeah. van Riebeck. That is offensive to all of us Africans. And I, I think they will agree, Chair, that we have inherited Van Riebeck's legacy in our inequality in South Africa. That his legacy is not necessarily a positive one, but it's one that we inherited and we share. Of, of Van Riebeck, he needs to Please take your seat, Honourable Reddy. In terms of the rules. Honourable Reddy, after... The next speaker is the Honourable De Block van Scheltinger. Thank you, Chairperson. Heritage Day is an opportunity for South Africans to celebrate. To celebrate what brings us together as South Africans. To celebrate what we share as South Africans. To celebrate what makes us South Africans. But also to celebrate our differences. Because in celebrating our differences, we can learn to love the beauty of our diversity. Diversity is at the heart of our shared South African heritage. Our national motto, as we've heard, translates as diverse people unite. This sentiment underpins the vision of the government of national unity for a non-racial, non-sexist country. A country where we come together to celebrate our differences constructively, rather than use those differences as a destructive wedge to drive people apart. Heritage is also an opportunity for reflection. Our heritage is inherited from our ancestors and previous generations, and by virtue of this, our heritage is also our history. All South Africans are products of our shared inheritance. We are all sons of Shaka and daughters of Sada Bartman, nieces of Queen Mojaji and nephews of Van Ribek. We are formed by our collective history, the most painful, the most painful parts of our story are when we pointed fingers at the differences between us as South Africans. Order, honorable uh, members. When we pointed fingers at each other instead of celebrating our shared diversity, we must choose to have strength in our diversity, not division. We must celebrate each other, not denigrate each other. Order, For it is only together that... Honorable the Block van Schelting up, please just take your seat for a moment. Honorable Malema, why are you rising? It is an offensive language to say we are all descendants or grandchildren of Jan van Riebeck, a murderer. We can't be told that we are children or descendants of Jan van Riebeck. Shaka and them were agree. But to mention Jan van Riebeck in the same line with Shaka Zulu, with Queen Mujaji, is an offensive language and it's an Acceptable. The Jews will never agree that Hitler must be mentioned in a debate that seeks to identify. We will never agree with that. That we are Honorable Malema. Honorable Malema, that is a, a, a point of debate and not a point of order. Honorable the Block van Scheltinger, please continue. Jay, I think it's a. It, if, uh, if we are going to acknowledge that we are all products of South Africa's history, then unfortunately that's a fact we have to admit. My point is, Chair, that... So, Honourable the Block van Scheltinger, please take your seat for a moment. Honourable Langwini. Chair, I want you to caution the young man, if you're going to continue like that, we can't be... We are not part of a legacy of Jan van Riebeer. And he cannot consist consistently tell us that we are part of Yan yeah. Ribian. That is offensive Honorable. towards all of us Africans. And we cannot allow that and tolerate that. That is precisely that you want to protect still Louis Water standing a bit in front of parliament. Oh. We're not going to allow that. Thank you, Honorable Nklangwini. I've already ruled. With a murderer and a rapist. Please take your seat That's now. Offensive. Please take your seat now. I've already ruled that that's ultimately a point of debate. So we can't abuse points of order. Order! 
Honorable member, I'm now speaking. In terms of the rules, when the chair speaks, you are to desist. Honorable members, it might be that, that you disagree vehemently with the Honorable de Block van Scheltinger, but that doesn't take away from his right to air his views. I've made that ruling. If you disagree, you know what recourse to take. Honorable Reddy, why are you rising? If it is on the Thank same you. Thank point, you, then I'm I not rise, going to entertain I ri it. rise in terms of Rule 69D. It's headed gross disorderly conduct on the part of the descendant of Jan van Riebeek. No. It persists in making serious allegations against other members of this House without uh, adequate substantiation. Yeah, now, Honorable Reddy, please take your seat. Of, of van Riebeek, he needs to Please take your seat, Honorable Reddy. In terms of the rules. Honorable Reddy, I've already ruled. I, r I rose on a new rule. No, Madam no, Chair, Honorable Reddy. Gross disorderly conduct is ultimately what we will have is if members continue to raise the same point of order, which I've already ruled on. Thank you. I'm now, I'm now on the floor. So I've ruled on this matter. It's a point of debate. Uh, I think South Africa is now very clear that you, along with some other members, vehemently disagree. That doesn't take away from the right of this member to air his views. Honorable de Block van Scheltinger, please continue. I, I think they will agree, Chair, that we've inherited van Riebeek's legacy in our inequality in South Africa. That his legacy is not necessarily a positive one, but it's one that we inherited and we share. Point of order, Chair. Is that a new point of order? Honorable de Block van Scheltinger, please take your seat. Uh, <clears throat> Once you've ruled on a matter, yeah. that, that ruling binds all of us, including the men on the podium. So once you've ruled on the matter, he mustn't continue provoking. No, us. Honorable Manye. Rise on the same thing. Honorable Manye, please take your seat. Um, that is, in fact, not what the ruling said. The ruling said that while I take notice, along with the rest of South Africa, that you vehemently disagree with this member. He has a right to air his views. Please switch off your mic now. Thank you, Honorable de Block van Scheltinger, for the sake of progress. Uh, I think you have limited time left. Thank you, Chair. My point is that it is only together that we can move this country forwards and bring freedom and prosperity to all South Africans. And I'm going to draw on our vast and extremely diverse natural heritage to demonstrate this. We are sitting right now in the most biodiverse city in the world. From the steps of this very chamber, one can marvel at one of the world's seven natural wonders, Table Mountain. Table Mountain alone is home to more plant species than the entire United Kingdom, 2,000 species, of which 90 of them are found nowhere else on planet Earth. This biodiversity hotspot... Order, honorable Island. members. Please give this member an opportunity. This biodiversity hotspot is characterized by what we call Feinbos, home to our national flower, the King Protea. Feinbos is as apt a symbol for the South African people as you can find, both mega diverse and entirely unique to South Africa. Feinbos is hardy and adaptable. It thrives on even the most nutrient poor soils, can withstand droughts and floods, and can be found growing from the coast where it's lashed by the tempestuous storms to the peaks of the Cape Fold Mountains, where it is baked by the African sun in summer and smothered in frost and snow in winter. Feinbos has found a way to overcome adversity and even to thrive in the most difficult environments. It is the epitome of resilience, the ability of such diverse constituents to overcome the most overwhelming odds is a trait that has come to define generations of South Africans throughout our turbulent history. Perhaps the most telling part of this metaphor is Feinbos's relationship with fire. Fire is a natural part of our African ecosystems, having shaped our landscapes even before the first humans sprung forth from the cradle of humankind to conquer the world. Fires rip frequently through the Feinbos, scorching the earth and leaving a blackened hellscape behind. South Africa has been on fire. We've been suffocating in the smoke plumes of crime, poverty and unemployment. We've been burning in the flames of near racial politics, stoked by persistent inequality and lack of basic freedoms. Our homes and institutions have been tarnished and charred by the soot of corruption and failed service delivery. But the secret to Feinbos is that every 30 years, it needs to burn. The smoke and heat are the cues for dormant seeds to germinate and sprout the next generation of proteas. 
The old and moribund must wait, make way for new growth. From the ash, green shoots will soon be seen, a symbol of hope, new beginnings, and a new chapter. Earlier this year, South Africa was perilously close to a point of no return. The scorched earth lay dormant, uncertain, seemingly holding its breath in trepidation of what would come next. So many countries have been here before us and have made choices that have run them to ruin, choosing violence, division, and blame. So many countries, but not South Africa. We've been here before. 30 years ago, the world marveled at how South Africa pulled itself back from the brink, not by force, but with love, a nation reborn. 30 years on, the world is again marveling at the miracle of South Africa, how we once again are able to overcome the overwhelming odds, how we pull together as a nation rather than pull apart, using our strength in diversity rather than tearing ourselves apart at the seams of our rich tapestry of heritage. Like the proverbial Fainbos Phoenix, we are rising once again after 30 years of struggle because shared diversity will always beat adversity. In 2024, we were truly at a crossroads. Do we cave into adversity, embrace ethnocentric politics and populism, and follow the well-trodden road to ruin? Or do we make the difficult choice to once again find each other in a shared love for our beautiful country and write a new chapter for the people of South Africa? The choice was clear. Either we adopt a government of national unity or a government of notorious impunity. We have chosen once again to hold hands together under our shared values of non-racialism, the rule of law and the primacy of our constitution, guided by the African principle of Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Gumuntu, Gabant. A diverse people have again united. My fellow South Africans, this Heritage Month, I can see those green shoots starting to show. I thank you. Thank you. The last speaker is the Honorable the Deputy.